What's up, Aquarius? And thank you guys so much for tuning in. So guys, we're already in mid-month of May. So let's see what's going on with you guys. Now, this is going to be for Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus Aquarius signs. And it will be general, guys. Whatever comes out, comes out. And keep in mind that the energy I'm picking up on, it could be an energy that you're exuding and putting out into this world. Or it could be an energy that's kind of coming in for you, okay? So everything could always be transferable. All right. What is going on with the sign of Aquarius? May 2019, mid-month. So this will be from about May 15th uh, to about June 15th. All right, so let's see what's up, guys. Guys, also remember that I do post daily energies every day on my Instagram if you want to check it out, High Vibrations 44. All right, so we have your past. Present. And your future. Okay. All right, also the energy that you have here is the strength card in the verse. So it doesn't always mean that we're weak. It could just mean that there's certain things in life that could debilitate us or certain things that if we continue to put effort into something that, you know, doesn't deserve our effort, it can just kind of drain us in that way where we're just doing too much for something that doesn't deserve that sort of effort. Um, now we do have the four of pentacles and the nine of wands in the verse. So you guys are definitely in a place where you're being reserved with yourself and there's something that may be debilitating to you, whether it be emotional, physical, and you just don't want any part in it. You're deciding to either remove yourself or deciding that there's something that's not genuine, especially if this is something, you know, with the chariot in the verse that you feel is out of your control. Now going towards your past guys the first card that you have is the knight of wands so with the knight of wands could be a leo aries or sagittarius that you guys are dealing with um if not this is just going to be the energy of a person who's very passionate who's very um loving somebody who's just naturally very liked someone who um has a very magnetic sort of you know aura around them why is this knight of wands here we have the justice card in the reverse And we have the four of uh, pentacles. So for some of you, maybe there was some sort of injustice within love. Maybe there's some sort of third party situation, something to that degree. Um, but at minimal, you know, there's someone here who feels like something happened in a way where um, it just wasn't fair. Okay. Where you had to reserve yourself or maybe someone had to reserve themselves from you. Now, we do have the star card here and the ten of wands in the reverse. So maybe you feel like in regards to what you wanted, you had to drop anything that was burdening to get what you wanted. Okay. Now, the next card that you guys have for the past is the ace of swords in the reverse. So this is when there's going to be something that either ends very harshly or there's at least two people who are um, really speaking to each other in a way that's not going to be conducive to what they're trying to do. Two people who could be very, um, you know, very angry people who are kind of yelling over one another. Um, you know, this is the type of argument that you'll have with a person when you're not really trying to understand what they're saying. You just, you know, you already have your rebuttal in your pocket and you're ready to come back with whatever, you know, you're saying to defend yourself. So it's just, it's poor communication at least, okay? At minimal rather. All right, so why is this Ace of Swords in the reverse here? We have the seven of wands in the reverse, so something that's way too adverse and, you know, you feel like you have to give up on it, you just don't want to deal with it. And you have the ten of swords, so maybe you feel betrayed. Maybe someone, um, you know, someone could have betrayed you, maybe you betrayed somebody else, but it's just too much conflict here and you don't want to, you know, be involved with this. With the ace of pentacles in the reverse, again, you're really letting something go. And maybe this is something that you truly wanted in your life, you know, for a while, but you just see that it's not going to work. Now, the last card that you guys have for the past is the seven of swords. So with the Seven of Swords, this is secrets. This is someone who's doing things, you know, on the low. It doesn't always have to be something shady, but, you know, something that a person is trying to keep quiet. We have the Six of Cups in the reverse. And the Eight of Cups. So you guys are walking away from something, whether it's because of a secret that you hold, whether because of, you know, secrets that were just involved in all of this. And just with your approach of leaving, regardless of how you felt at this point, knowing that you have to leave or walk away from this, um, you're just trying to do it in an amicable way right now. With the Six of Cups in the reverse, this isn't someone who's going to, you know, slash your tires and break the windows in your car. This is someone who's going to say, you know what, I'm, I'm tired. Like, good luck, bro. Good luck. And you kind of just walk away from it. Okay. And with the High Priestess, the good thing is that even if there are secrets, especially if they're not yours, 
you're in tune with that. This is when our, um, just our intuition is extremely heightened, where you're not going to necessarily feel that you need proof with certain things. This is just you knowing. So with this card around you guys, you always have to listen to your gut. Even if someone calls you crazy for what it is you believe, if you strongly, strongly in the core of your heart and soul believe it, then there's truth to that, okay? Now, in the present moment, the first card that you guys have is a magician, all right? So being in a place where you're able to manifest a lot, and with the magician being here, you don't need anything else to manifest whatever this is that you're manifesting, okay? You have everything within you to do it. You have the queen of wands in the reverse, And you have the page of swords in the reverse so for some of you specifically maybe there's a fire sign pissed off with you a leo aries or sagittarius with the way that you're going about something but this is just the energy of someone who's just kind of being a diva and pissed off about something it doesn't have to be your energy it could be the energy of someone else um but there could be harsh communication between you and this person and if it's not harsh communication with the page of swords in the reverse um then it could be the fact that maybe you just don't want to talk to them or maybe they don't want to talk to you so you know, either people being angry and not talking to each other about certain things or just being angry and speaking in a very harsh way. Now, the center of this reading and what every single card is going to tie into, also the next card for your present moment, is the Queen of Swords. Okay, so this is your energy, guys. So regardless of what's happening, you're really able to stand your ground and be strong and think very empirically about how you're going to move forward. Um, this is someone that they're not thinking with their heart. They're thinking with their mind, regardless of what their heart is telling them. And this is someone who's very quick to cut someone off. So it's like you guys are kind of putting a wall up to protect yourselves. Okay, because now you have more clarity about just life and the way that you're headed. Why is this Queen of Swords here? We have the Three of Swords in the reverse. Let me get one more card. And the Two of Pentacles in the reverse. So it's like you're telling yourself, despite the fact that I might still be hurt over something or disappointed in it or, you know, in the process of healing, I'm more balanced. Okay? So you're really just protecting yourself at this point. Um, and there's some sort of offer that maybe came in towards you or that you gave to someone, but I just don't see this being accepted. Um, I see you if anything, having to accept that something's over, okay? Now, the last card that you guys have for the present moment is the Ten of Pentacles in the reverse. So if this isn't you losing literal money, then this is just being in a place where you feel like you're losing um, a sense of abundance. Why is this Ten of Pentacles in the reverse here? We have the Moon card in the reverse. And we have the Page of Cups in the reverse. So really just knowing that something's not genuine, um, having clarity that you can't move in a certain direction anymore, that an offer wasn't valid or some just, um, someone just wasn't being um, genuine with what they were saying, okay? So for some of you, maybe that's a lover. For others of you, it could be anyone that's close to you. The lover's card doesn't have to be someone that you're intimate with. Um, it could be a family member. It could be a friend, all right? It could be um, a co-worker. But with you letting this go, you're balanced, okay? Now, moving forward into the future, the first card that we have is the Emperor in the reverse. So this is typically someone who's very fake and dishonest. You know, they're just kind of wearing a mask and they're doing this to try to, you know, hold a certain uh, sense of authority over someone or, you know, over a situation. Uh, this could also be us not being true to ourselves, you know, showing the world one thing, but knowing deep down inside that it's, you know, it's another way in all reality. Why is this Emperor in the reverse here? We have the Ace of Cups. And we have the Nine of Wands in the reverse. So you want to be careful because if there's something that you see yourself very emotionally immersed in, make sure that it's not coming from someone who's being false, especially if you're being false with yourself. Um, but maybe you're letting go of something where somebody was fake and dishonest, whether it was you or another person, and you have this new beginning. So it's going to vary for everybody. There's a lot of you. But um, yeah, that's how you want to look at this. That you're moving away from something that's just not genuine and going uh, towards new beginnings. Just make sure that your new beginning is not something that, again, isn't genuine. So the next card that you guys have for your future is the sun card. So that could be heavy blessings coming in. Sometimes it could also be something that comes to light. Um, but throughout all of this, you guys are really, you know, with the nine of swords in the reverse and the eight of swords in the reverse, 
you're not stressing a situation anymore because you're seeing it fully for what it is. You're not having this, you know, metaphorical blindfold on anymore. Okay. Why is this sun card here? We have the seven of pentacles in the reverse. And we have the two of swords. So something is revealed. Something comes to light at this point. And this is something that you guys are, you know, actively immersed in. And now you're having to, you know, it's like you're between a rock and a hard place where it's like you're realizing that something's a waste of time and effort, but you're still on the fence about this, okay? Um, for some of you, maybe that's with the water sign, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. So let's just see why this King of Cups is here. Why is this King of Cups here? You have the Page of Wands in the reverse. And you have the two of wands in the reverse, guys. So honestly, I see an offer that's no good, especially if it's coming from fire or water signs. Um, and I know that that covers a lot of people because we have Leo, Aries, Sagittarius, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Um, but you guys just have to be real with yourselves. And you'll be able to know because you guys have that high priestess come out. So you're very intuitive while all of this is happening. So if it feels wrong, it is wrong. Okay, but it shows that at a point where you're having some sort of unstable transition, it's because of you listening to your intuition that you go into a very amazing new chapter in life. Okay, and there's something that you need to let go of in order to get this, but whatever it is that you're dropping, it actually puts you on the path that you're supposed to be on. Okay, it makes you more in tune with yourself and it makes you that much closer to reaching your highest potential. Okay. So let's get you guys some cards of advice and then I'll pull an oracle card for you. Let me get three cards of advice for the sign of Aquarius. So we have the Ace of Pentacles, the Ten of Swords in the reverse, um, and we have the Three of Swords. So there's definitely something that goes in a way that's not expected with the Wheel of Fortune in the reverse and the Queen of Pentacles in the reverse as uh, the energy here, even with um, the Emperor and the World card in the reverse. So you guys really have to boss up to something and see it for what it truly is because there's going to be something that if it's not depleting your pocket, you know your actual finances then it's something where you or someone around you has put a lot of effort into something but they're not getting what they feel they deserve out of a situation so it just doesn't go as expected so is there a new start that comes in that helps you to get over something heartbreaking or is there something new that you want that could lead to a heartbreak so let's clarify this okay um with the ten of swords in the reverse there's going to be a situation that may feel like a betrayal or just a very sudden or harsh ending um but at this point you know the worst that could have happened in the situation has already passed okay so let's see why these cards are here why is this ace of pentacles here we have the page of cups why is this ten of swords in the reverse here the chariot why is this three of swords here? The two of wands, okay? Honestly, I see this as a catch-22 situation. For some of you, maybe you're moving away from a love situation where somebody just couldn't, you know, stay monogamous and, you know, they were in player mode. Um, but I honestly see that you guys are coming out of something that could be difficult. And although you're over the majority of what you went through there, um, it, it still bothers you to a certain extent, but at the same time that you're being bothered by all of this, there's something very good coming into your life. So it's that catch-22 because it's something very positive that you really just take off and things really work out for you in an amazing way. Maybe it involves traveling, maybe it's a new job, maybe you're moving your house, but whatever this is, it's going to happen fast and you're going to be in control of it, but you're just dealing with the disappointment as you're going through all of this. So it's really good. It's just, again, having to deal with past situations and things that didn't work out in the way that you may have thought it would okay so guys this deck that i just used um is the wild unknown tarot and this oracle deck that i'm using is earth magic oracle by stephen d farmer so let's see what card comes out for you guys in regard uh, in regards to oracle guidance here
card of guidance do you guys need here? Okay. All right, guys. Look, so um, if you guys are new to my channel, I read these in the reverse only because I'm very well versed with these um, oracle cards and it just it works and it always makes sense for me. But you guys got the new moon promise card in the reverse. So this is very clear. Either something that you were promised or something that you promised to someone else or in a situation. I just don't see it coming to pass. And I see you guys having been in a situation where, you know, your energy is the fog card revealed. But now it's in the reverse, meaning that whatever fog or, you know, um, delusion you had in front of you, whatever smoke screen was in front of you, not allowing you to fully see a situation for what it was, all that fog is being pushed away. So now you see the whole time what the fog was, you know, hiding, where there's something that's just, you know, whatever was promised to you, it's like it... it it doesn't come out the way that you had expected, whether you're withdrawing some sort of promise or someone's withdrawing some sort of promise, okay? But I really see you guys, um, for a lot of you who are in a place where maybe this is something that you were denying for a while because you were scared to maybe be on your own. Maybe you were scared to be in solitude. Maybe you were scared to um, not have someone or you know a certain situation by your side, but it was making you avoid a wake-up call that was very much needed so i feel like now you guys have no choice but to go through with that okay so i really see this as a karmic situation here okay that you guys have to release all right so this is very very you know straightforward in regards to what this is so something isn't what you guys think it is or maybe again someone that's dealing with you um they may have different expectations from what they're actually going to get so just a sense of needing to be honest with yourself okay so let's see how this develops in the June readings that I will be doing next. Um, but again, like I said, guys, you can catch me on Instagram, High Vibrations 44. Like I said, I post daily energies every day. And then if you guys would like a reading, I offer 30 minute readings and uh, question options. There's no limit on how many questions you can get, but that's on my website, highvibrationswithliz.com. So you guys can go to uh, my email. All of this is in the description below. So guys, good luck with this, okay? Be open-minded with what's coming into your life. Be honest with yourself and always follow your intuition because it's never going to lie to you, all right? Take care, Aquarius. I love you guys.